Okay. Okay. Cyber Warrior 94 here, doing another vlog today. Trying. I'm in this thing called in my high school. You guys can tell, but this is my high school. Uh, I don't want to show my face today because I cut myself on the face, and I don't think I'll look pretty damn good on the camera now. Uh, this is called a Jim and Julia show, where we actually have rocks and other stuff. Very interesting. Uh, I have to just say this is quite interesting what I'm seeing here. This is Timber. Might get it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Wow. They even have dinosaur bone teeth. I don't know if it's real fake. Awesome. Dino tooth. Uh, Shark teeth. Yeah. No. KT Mountain. Nothing all too special. Calaveras. No, my mom would freak out if I got this at home. I'm not getting it. You know the price. If you see the 18 zero zero, you're gone. Where are these? Oh, these are not the magnet ones. I'm looking. I'm looking for magnet bracelets. Tell me, how does this look on me? I think it looks pretty snazzy. Small uh, shark teeth for a dollar fifty. Big shark teeth for something. Hi. This has two prizes. And these are magnetized rings. And now they're magnetized in my hand. Oh, wow, that freaked me out a little bit. Fossilized. Or preserved bugs. There's really a lot of stuff here. I mean, if you look around, you actually will find something you like. Pendants. That's pretty dang good pendants. I'm just looking around. Hey. <laughs> Little baby was just playing around with his stuff. Must be enriched with fossils, seeing I'm coming around here with a lot of stuff. Ooh, fossilized tree trunk thing. Okay, that just met a news reporter, and I literally was amazed that I'm recording this on tape while I speak. Pretty dang cool. I entered a contest, by the way, uh, to win a giant rock. So I'll show you what it looks like. I can't go outside again to show you guys it, but hey there, little guy. Yeah, that was a little baby again. But, uh, excuse me. So, but... That rock right there is uh, what the grand prize will be, and it's pretty, pretty awesome. I highly doubt we win now. I have no regrets. Ooh, more rocks. Ooh, this one looks kind of cool, actually. It looks like uh, candy or paint. This is called Pirate's Sun. That should quite looks interesting. So are these all made of glass? 
Yes. They're all beach boys. Interesting. Just for the record, I only have 20 bucks in my wallet. And explains everything on how to use it and what to look for. You know, there's different types of metal detectors. Some of them have more advanced. Should I go for it? Hi. Hi. Says here, made American made since 1950. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm just recording this all for oh. my fans. Oh, okay. <laughs> that you are on a phone. <laughs> nah. So interesting. Very curious. Really interesting piece of work. So now I'm here in this cool necklace area. I actually like these necklaces. This one looks exotic. I mean, look at it. And this one's. Ooh, this one looks more exotic. It's like charcoal. But I think my favorite one has to go out with. Where to go? I like green stuff, by the way. Green's my favorite color. Emerald's my gemstone. Get the idea? Uh, so there's a lot of stuff around here. I actually am quite intrigued by this. And I'm already up to six minutes, so I only have a few more minutes. I might make it part two for you guys, just for the heck of what I got. There's a lot of cute babies here today. Pretty much the best thing I've ever seen here. <laughs> yeah. No, it's all right. I, did, I was just saying I saw this for the first time. It's pretty much the best thing I ever seen in my life. The, li the little squid. Well, that's what is what they look like when they're fossilized. Interesting. Right. Yeah. So I'll be knocking this down. This is what it looked like when it was alive, and here it is fossilized. And if you go. Come down the booth, you can see when they're split in half. Such a nice one. Right, so that's the outside, and then that's the inside. That's pretty interesting. You can get a better, Tom, can you come give a little bit of an explanation about the ammonites, how they swim, where they live, blah, blah, blah. So, Ammonites look like that. Am I talking to that? Yeah, you can talk to that if you want. Let me put it okay. in your face. There you go. So, this is what they looked like when they were alive. And they lived... Let's find a big one since you're filming it. They lived in these chambers. Each one of these represents a living chamber. And so obviously he started out in the middle, and each time he would grow, he would build himself a new, bigger chamber, and then he would move out a notch. And he lived in probably this much of this ammonite, and then the body stuck out, like you saw there. And uh, each time he would build a new chamber, he would wall off the back and create a new empty chamber behind him. So he would just make a new chamber as uh, he would He would build he out grows. here, yeah, as he grows, he would build out. And then he would move forward, and then he would build a. Once he moved forward, then he would build a wall behind him, and he would wall off the previous living area. And but he kept a tube that went through from chamber to chamber to chamber all the way back to the middle, and he would control his buoyancy in the water column. He could pump air in, make himself more buoyant, and he would float towards the surface, or he could take air out, and then he would sink towards the bottom. And to pro propel himself through the water, like modern squid do, they have a little. They had a little jet here, and he would oh. suck water in, and, and then he could shoot water out that jet, and then he would swim backwards. Like so this. it's basically he's like a propelled car or some sort of uh, jet airplane when he moves. Yeah, it's a jet type of situation because it's sucking and shooting out, you know. 
but it's like a modern squid moose. Yeah, it ha- it's actually quite interesting. It is interesting, and they were very, very successful animals. They're, they're found all over the world. Uh, they died out when the dinosaurs died out at the end of the Cretaceous period. Uh. And they grew in all different forms. The, the coil is the most common, but they grew in a, uh, in a, like a trombone shape. They grew straight. They grew, some of them actually grew in a squiggle like that. That's quite interesting. I never really knew about those squids. Well, thank you for sharing that to the uh, fans. Okay. Have a good day. Have a good day too, sir. So I hope you enjoyed the squid talk. Let's look at some other stuff. You know, that was quite interesting. I'm already up to 10 minutes, but I don't worry. I'm going to make a two-part of a 30-minute walkthrough. So, yeah. I'm looking for emerald. Ooh, these are actually pure orbs. I used to get come here a lot and get, like, random stuff, and my mom would be like, Yes, you got something? I actually want to get a small animal. She said, Not today. You have already 14 of these small, dorky animals. But I have not found the animal. I've been looking for it every year I come here. Oh. This is a bison, right? Or is it a bull? I don't know. That's the problem. I'm looking for a bull, and I only find... Animals are not what I was looking for. And this one looks quite interesting. Oh, swigs. This is a, I don't know if you guys could tell, but that's a friggin' small turtle. It's actually beads that are used for a necklace, so that's pretty cool. I actually do like it. Now, I know you guys are going to say, why am I showing, why am I showing you guys books? Well, because you're going to go to Earth Science, get over it. More animals. This is a wonderful experience. So if you're ever down here by the end of July in Long Island, pop by down my high school. We'll have a gem jewelry show. And it's not just gems and jewels. It's actually more. Fossils, information, all that stuff that you might not care about, but who cares? It's actually glass. I don't know if you guys know this, but this is actually not glass. This is a friggin' stone. That's pretty cool. I never knew that, but I actually thought it was glass for a second there. Let's go back to the other side of the front. We have not been to the other side yet. I might make this a two-parter, so when I hit... About 14 minutes, I'll cut off and I'll come back again. How you doing? Good. Yeah, everyone knows me here. Everyone. A lot of jewelry. But this is the best type of jewelry you can get. I mean, it all it just says is, let me just focus in there. That's the best word ever. There we go. It says sold, 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 sold. Best ring ever to get your wife. Remember that. If you have a wife, get her a sold ring because uh, she sold her soul to you. <laughs> uh, I make horrible jokes and I'm about 14 minutes long. Ooh, security guard with a pistol. Let's follow him. So much interesting. Would you like to say something for the camera, sir? Uh, no, thank you. No, oh, well, security guard didn't want to talk. I'm almost done, but well, it was funny. <laughs> just walk out to a random guy and just say, Would you like to say something for the camera? Uh, I guess I'm going to have to end it off here. I'm almost up in 30 seconds. So, this is Cyber Warrior 94 signing off to you guys on YouTube. Catch me in part two of this adventurous vlog.